Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about my FTMO verification challenge again. I talked about this in the last video already. If you haven't watched the last video, you should probably because um, this video is a little bit in addition to the last video because I will be using the same program again. So what am I going to do? I um, made this um, currently in this verification challenge. And as you can see here, I started with 100K and now I'm at 94K. So it's not going too too well and um, I kind of want to figure out why is it like this. So in the last video I tested a longer period already with a program that um, trades all of these five symbols together in one backtest and I figured out that the current time where I trade this strategy is not perfect for the strategy because there's a lot of sideways markets and most of these days a lot of these days were just not profitable and this was in the test and of course also as you can see here in the um, real time trading environment what I figure out uh, what I want to figure out now is um, how much does or, or how big is the gap if I compare this actual FTMO verification account performance with the performance of the same EAs in the same period in the strategy tester. And that's what I'm going to do here. And we can really go ahead and compare single trades. And I want to especially have, at, uh, have a look at trades like this, for example, where we saw this extreme slippage. And you maybe saw this in the stream. Normally, the stop loss should be at around 500 um, USD, but here it was 1,800. So um, three times as big as it should be. And if we do not see this in the test, we kind of have to question the, the whole testing thing. Um, uh, yeah, the whole testing thing, I think, because this is such a big difference. But um, let's not be theoretical here, but let's, let's really test this in the strategy tester. So you can see here, this is um, the range breakout multi-currency program that I wrote. It is the program that trades all of these five symbols together in the same test. And to show you this, I will, I will start the back test here in the visual mode. And as you can see here, I am using, of course, the exact same account that I used for the uh, or that I used for the challenge. So we get the data from this FTMO server. So you can see here we already see the first um, range created. And let me show you in a second that we will also see the orders in the um, other markets. So for example, here you can see we now see trades um, because we also trade the German index, for example, even though I'm running the test in Euro US dollar, but this is a multi-currency EA. And if I make this a little bit slower or maybe pause it, you can see I am trading the breakout here at 10 o'clock and it's the highest point in the range from nine to 10 o'clock uh, server time here. So you can see this is uh, indeed the exact same strategy that I run in my live streams and in this verification account here. So if I speed up the back test um, again, you will see, and if I give it a go here, you, you will see that down here it trades all the symbols now, Euro, US Dollar, USD, Japanese Yen, the German 40 was traded. In some seconds we will see um, GBP USD placing the trades. There are the trades in uh, GBP USD. So you can see we are trading all the symbols and the last one will be the US 30 in the afternoon and um, yeah it will take some time but I will show you this range also. So you can see it's it's really trading all the symbols that I traded here in my um, verification uh, account. So you can see here as soon as it hits the uh, 17 o'clock Time, it will place the orders in uh, USD Japanese Yen. There they are, and they are traded just like any other symbol. So let me speed up the whole thing by minimizing this window, and we can then have a look at the graph, the overall key figures, and also um, on single trades to really be able to compare the results here. And this is what I want to do. So what we see here on the on on the first view already is that also the test is not going really well in this period and we will now compare um, the exact trades. So you can see in the strategy tester here I tested starting on the 4th of January up until the current day and these are exactly the 
trades that I made here in this verification. So you can see here, I started on the 4th of January and right now is um, the 18th. So we have the trade until yesterday, which was the 17th. And we should now see these trades also in the back test. So this is the back test. And the first thing which is really interesting is if we have a look at the balance, the backtesting balance for these days, it ends at um, uh, 49,517 and the actual account is currently at 49,208. So we see a little bit of a gap here, which is um, yeah, 300 euro uh, USD, sorry, I think. Oh wait, did I make the, yeah, I made the test in USD. So 300 USD gap, which is, I mean, there is a gap, but it's surprisingly small, I would say. So um, let's have a look at the trades, the actual trades that were made here. So you can see um, the trade here. The first trade was, um, this is the strategy tester. The first trade was on the 4th of January, 2023, 10 o'clock. And if we have a look at the, wait, let me minimize the tester here. So we just see the, um, the history. And I can also close this window. It doesn't really help us. So let's have a look at the history here. So the first trade that was actually taken in the ver verification account was at the exact same time. And if we have a look at the profit, also the profit in the real verification account was there. It was 1,000 and in the test side it was 969. So it was just around the same level. So the next trade was then a um, USC Japanese yen trade at 10.30. And we also see this trade in the strategy tester. This was a loss of 506 and here we saw 520. So if I go ahead and compare all of these trades, we can see that these trades are actually really, really similar. Here we have a little bit of a bigger loss and we also see a little bit of a bigger loss in the strategy tester. So we actually, we, we kind of see the slippage there. So you can see this, um, Wait, this is a US 30 trade and you can see it kind of really worked with the strategy tester. So we, we see really similar results. So let's have a look at the most extreme trades here. We see this trade, for example, the 4th of January, uh, 20 o'clock, this trade was closed. And we also see this trade here, 20 o'clock was closed. So in the actual FTMO account, we made 4.5K and in the tester, we made 4.5K. So again, super similar. Let's have a look at some more of these uh, extreme trades, especially I wanna have a look at the trade that I said um, in the beginning. Or let's have a look at these trades, maybe these two trades. So we saw this really big win here, which was um, wait, let me compare the times. It was this one, 12th of January. And you can see these trades are actually, again, really similar. And now the extreme big loss. This is in the FTMO account, like the actual account, 1.8K loss. And in the tester, we saw a really similar result. I mean, there is a 50 USD difference, which is, I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not as big as I expected it to be. So it shows that, if you have or if you use the strategy tester and you use this, um, wait, let me show it to you, this calculation method here, every tick based on real ticks. Um, wait. Um, wait, let me make this a little bit smaller and this bigger. If you use this every tick based on real ticks and you test a time period where your broker actually provides these real ticks, it really seems to be super accurate. I mean, it's not like 100% spot on, but that's not really what I expect if I do a backtest. But it's a really great sign for me also to see that, for example, if you have a trade like this, where you, where you get this extremely enormous slippage with the execution, it kind of is there in the strategy tester also. And this is a good sign. So, yeah, so, so what's the takeaway here? There are several takeaways from this video. I mean, I could compare every single trade, but as you can see, they are really, really similar and I don't think there will be a big difference. Um, and this is an accuracy of the test that is okay for me. So my takeaways are that the very first point is that this FTMO challenge 
seems to be fair, I would say. So if you have this FTMO account and if you start making a backtest with your setup that you plan to trade in this FTMO challenge and if this backtest shows that on average like you would win more month than you would lose, then you can give it a go because these backtests can be really accurate. I mean, you would have to figure out somehow how long this big uh, tick data goes back, but it can be super accurate as this test today has shown. And overall, I think... I mean, of course, you see slippage and stuff, but it's not something I would say is only for FTMO. That's just trading. You will see slippage for every broker. So overall, like my personal experience is also with my Forex funds and now FTMO, these prop firm trading conditions are fair. I mean, also if I compare it to real life accounts like IC Markets, there's no big difference. So prop firm trading conditions, at least for these two companies, are fair, I would say. Also, it shows again that the back test kind of really mirrors the results in a real life account if you get good data. Because here we saw like the big trades were there, the big profits, the big losses, everything was really similar in the overall performance. I mean, even though there's a 200 or 300 US dollar difference, it's still kind of kind of accurate. So it really says that if you have a strategy that can be consistent for the last two or three years, you, you really have a chance to pass these challenges. And it also shows me that to answer the question why this uh, FTMO account here is not going as good as I would like it to go, to answer this question, I can now say I'm kind of just unlucky because right now I'm in a period or the market conditions are kind of bad so this strategy cannot perform at its best and if you haven't watched the last video again watch it because you will see that this strategy or this portfolio of symbols using this strategy it can perform way better as it did in the last few weeks so this is my little summary for the ftmo of the current state of this ftmo account and it was kind of important to me to see what the test says about this period and if it is similar or if um, yeah the actual results are way worse than they are in the test because in this point I would have to rethink my whole um, process here or my whole project. So anyways, hope you were able to take away something from this video. Please let me know in the comment section below if you made similar experiences, if you traded FTMO before, if you think it is fair, like did you compare the execution in the tester before with the live trades? Or live demo trades like I did now. Just let me know what you think about it. And let's all hope that I'm uh, that I will still be able to pass this challenge because today is another trading day. And I mean, I am 6% down, but um, yeah, you, you see the back test, it changes really quickly and I'm trading kind of high risk here. So everything is still possible, even though it is kind of unlikely that I will still make the challenge. But um, yeah, I will document everything to just be transparent, as transparent as possible on this YouTube challenge um, channel. And I hope that you can appreciate it. So subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And um, yeah, you will not miss out the next videos. Um, anyways, have a great time and good trades. See you next time. Bye-bye.